coffee. Kind of strong. <laughs> Needed. I wake you up. It's okay. Okay. What can I do for you? Dag 4 van het festival. En vandaag gaan we kijken naar twee opvallend eigenzinnige films hier in Cannes. Om te beginnen het grimmige sprookje Tale of Tales. Ik sprak met hoofdrolspeler Vincent Cassel, die in deze film te zien is als de oversekste koning van Strongcliff. She play in both small and big films. What is the Tale of Tales? Well, it's a big European movie. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, is it a question of price or a question of ambition? And that's a real question, really, because if you're trying to do a lot with a little bit of money, then it's a big film. If you don't do much with a lot of money... That's a good point. That's you a very know, good point. It's really what you're trying to do with what you have. And this movie uh, is, a, is a fairly big uh, budget for Europe, for Europe, of course. But it, you know, it's 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 very ambitious, you know, in terms of uh, special effects, you know, the cast, the fact that it's shot in English, of course. I mean, it's, it definitely aims on the international market, and that makes it a big movie, I guess. There's a lot of special effects. Mm -hmm. Did that also mean a lot of green screen? Not for me, really. Oh, no. And plus, honestly, <clears throat> green screen means that you're back to on, on, a, on a theater stage, really. You have to act. And it's not like you really look at the... You know, you get on the set, you're not like, oh, that wall is so real and so old, it's going to help me act. You check it out, you come on the set, you say, well, that looks good, and then you have to focus on, you know, something else. So. Blue screen, green screen, whatever. What did it do to you that he thought of you for playing the oversex king? Well, honestly, to be seen as a sexual object is kind of is kind of good actually. It's not too bad. No, right? no, it's good. It's a good thing. It's. Uh, First of all, I really consider it's my fault because when you play baddies and violent people, you have a tendency to uh, to um, erotize yourself somehow because that's what it is, you know. I mean, whether we like it or not, people like baddies because they're dangerous, because they're forbidden, and uh, that makes them somehow sexual. And are you happy with the way directors see you? Yeah. You don't mind being sort of almost typecast as the baby? Well, I don't think I've been typecast ever, really. It's, I mean, I really consider that everything that happened to me for the past 20 years is totally my fault. <laughs> de absurdistische film The Lobster heeft een heel prikkelend gegeven. In de toekomst worden alleenstaande mensen gebracht naar een hotel waar ze 45 dagen de tijd krijgen om een partner te vinden. Anders worden ze veranderd in een dier. Have you thought about what animals you want to be if you don't make it? A lobster. Do you remember when the idea of turning people into animals came up? We were trying to figure out, you know, what would, would they do with disobedient people or people that didn't, um, didn't manage to find a partner. So we were trying to find uh, a severe punishment for that. Uh, but, you know, we went through everything from, you know, killing them or using them as, ex uh, as for experiments or whatever in order to find something useful for, for, for the people that are discarded from, from society. I'm going to be a parrot. Why don't you become parrots too? And then we'll all be together. You're a complete idiot picking one of the few animals that can talk when you have a speech impediment. You'll lisp, even as an animal. As for you, they'll catch you and put you in a pot of boiling water until you die. And then they'll crack open your claws with a tool, like pliers, and they'll suck out what little flesh you have with their mouths. You're pathetic, both of you. It's first film in English, so that opens a whole new group of actors, among them Colin Farrell. Did you ask him or did he had to audition? 
Well, he didn't audition <laughs> exactly, but uh, we we had this Skype conversation the first time we met, which was, I mean, he I think he exaggerated. He, he said we you know we were on Skype for an hour and we said seven words or something. Uh, well, I guess because you know I don't really try and explain what I do a lot to people and to actors, so it was just a matter of us you know spending time together, even if it was just looking at each other uh, and just feeling each other out. When we raise our left arm, it means I want to dance in your arms. When we make a fist and put it behind our backs, it means let's fuck. The code grew and grew as time went by, and within a few weeks, we could talk about almost anything without even opening our mouths. How did you keep uh, the madness in the film real? You, you can't control it completely. You just, you know, you make sense of the film as you're making it and as you're finishing it, you know, you realize what it is that you've made. Only after you finish it. Yes, and maybe years after. <laughs> Morgen aandacht voor The Sea of Trees, de nieuwe film van Elephant-regisseur Gas van Zandt. En zeker zo belangrijk tegenwoordig, de nieuwe film met acteur Matthew McConaughey. Die bezig is met een hele fijne serie films. Dus, à bientôt, tot morgen.